everybody. I picked up the Plan Her Papers budget book um, specifically for my business budget. I want to be way more intentional with that um, now that my daughter's nine oy, and really saving for her future and also building my business and just all of that good stuff. So I wanted to do that with a budget book and I saw this and for many reasons knew that this was the perfect place um, to start that work. And this is a 12 month budget planner, but it's undated, um, which is great because I am giving this a start in July. So I'm able to do that without wasting half of a book. And you can see right from the get-go, it's kind of nice. I'm going to start it over here and then work over here in 2021. Um, but it has you start out right away with your financial goals. Um, I love this book's positive mindset. Like it just, the way that information is organized, I just feel it's more empowering than a lot of the other budget books I've tried. And I'll, I'll tell you more as we kind of go through, but this was one of the main things, right? Starting off with your goals, the big picture, um, you know, where do I want to be? What do I want to do this month? Where do I see myself long-term? You know, all that good stuff. So month, right? You can just write that down over here. And then this, I think this page is so powerful. It's monthly financial manifestations. Describe what you want to manifest using financial affirmations. For example, I will be debt free by the end of the year. Um, I have sort of just jotted down big goals before, um, but I've never had it. And this is every single month. I've never had it as the first page in my budget work. And again, I think just the power of having this launch each month is so, for me at least, <laughs> um, is so positive and is so, you know, like energizing, like, wow, like I've written some things down. I actually want to see these come true. And then how can I make them come true? Right. Um, I feel like some of the budget books I've had, it's like list all of your debt or list all of your bills or like list all of And it's like, oh, you know, yeah, no, I guess you're right. I don't have enough or, oh, there won't be enough left over. Or, you know, um, so again, just the way that this is organized right from the get go, I just am like, yes, let's do this. <laughs> so monthly calendar, some to do lists. I will usually color code this um, by bills that go out um, things that are due. I just kind of like to look down monthly calendars. I will always color code even in my personal planner, um, because I just want to see kind of at a glance uh, what's going on. <laughs> All right, here we go. So monthly bill organizer, date due, amount due, date paid, and method of payment. And then budget tracker. So expenses, income, total income expenses, and the difference. And then to be paid, the date due, and the amount. And then just a little checklist when it is paid. Some more over here to be paid, date, due, and amount. Right. This I love, an emergency fund tracker, right? So you start from the bottom and work your way up, kind of coloring it along the way. Again, just being a really visual person, um, just coloring these in and feeling like, yeah, I'm working, I'm working towards that, right? Um, and even if it's something, you know, obviously an emergency fund is, is super important, but even if it's like another big purchase, um, this is such a great way to track things. Um, kind of start it from the bottom and up you go sinking funds tracker. Um, it's nice because they actually have two spaces here. So, and I don't know if you're familiar with sinking funds, but it's definitely, I recommend it. I have quite a few sinking funds for um, the house, for um, car maintenance, for my daughter, um, you know, for her clothes and for the dog, right? For vet visits, just any of those big expenses that you know come up every single year, Christmas, birthdays, um, car registration, right? And just saving um, for that specific, um, you know, thing, right? For the event or, or, you know, emergency, all of that. So, there's two different things here, which is nice. I end up having just separate checking accounts. Um, so like my fund for the house, right? And then a fund for like, I think it's like house and car and then like like living beings, so like the dog and my daughter and you know, like holidays, things like that. So um, I don't, that didn't sound right, but you get the idea. <laughs> and then this over here, again, I just absolutely love. It's a spending tracker. But the main thing, look at these two columns, right? Was it a need or was it a want? And I think this is such an important thing that I personally don't give enough attention to because everything is a need, which of course is not true and really hard to reach some big financial goals if everything that you think you see is something that you need. So I really appreciated this. Um, that was new for me. And then at the end, there's two notes pages um, for that month, which I also appreciate because I tend to do a lot of just written reflection at the end of the month. What went well? Um, what didn't go so well? What came up? There's always something that comes up. <laughs> um, I'm going to be incorporating the manifestations in this, the needs and the wants, really being able to track that. And I think just knowing that I would need to check off if it was a need or a want would probably 
alleviate a lot of the um, things that I, you know, thought I needed, but probably didn't. And then of course, you know, there are things I want and if it's in the budget, then great, right? A budget isn't, um, you know, it's not a, it's not a punishment. It's basically just allocating where every dollar is going to go. And of course I say that like I'm an expert and I'm not, so that's why I have this book to help me. <laughs> but, um, but again, I'm going to be using this for my business um, and really trying to make some more intentional decisions um, and just start to build my savings um, and reinvest in my business and all of that good stuff. So this was 12 months. I believe they have 12 and 18 months. And they also have quite a few different um, cover options. The very last few pages, let me get that here, um, is some account info, which is nice. Okay. And... I said, other than that, right? You just have all of these great, yeah, all of these great pages for your budget for the whole year. So anyways, I'm really excited to share this with you. Again, this was by Plan Her Paper, and I definitely recommend checking out um, this budget book if it is something that you're looking towards. And uh, maybe again, just have felt kind of, I don't know, not really punished, but sort of just downtrodden about in the past um if it's felt like maybe just too much to too much to to surmount i i definitely recommend this again just because of the way that it's so positive and so empowering right from the very beginning mm -hmm.